guys, uh, Rush here with a quick video. Uh, this is the explanation video to my uh, one wide 2x2 two two, uh, flush door. So I'll try to briefly and quickly go over how all of this works. So right here is everything that uh, is made to uh, make this door. It's just like the footprint and I'll try to go over how each part works. So let's get started. Uh, first over here we have our piston um, uh, pusher thing, block pusher, whatever, I'm just going to call it that. It will push our blocks into place, so at the flip of this lever right here, it will push out the blocks, okay? Uh, very simply, and then it will retract it back in. So here, I'll just show you that really quickly again. So flip the lever, uh, pushes out the blocks there, and then when I flip it back in, it will get the blocks to retract back in but uh, or it will grab the bro it will grab the blocks but uh, we have these kind of these two blocks that are floating out in the middle of nowhere uh, and we need a way to get these back on top of the pistons that are right here and we do that using uh, this a double piston extender this is kind of like pear squirrels uh, double piston extender but I'm not sure I just kind of made this design I'm not sure if anyone else has used it or not so no clue, but at the flip of at the flip of this lever, uh, the pistons will come out like that, and then grab it back in. So that's pretty nice, like that. And then you just connect the two parts together using a falling edge trigger, which is what this is right here. So see, as you can see, even though this lever is flipped downward, this piston is not getting powered because on a falling edge trigger. Uh, you only receive output at the falling edge of redstone. So basically, what that means is, this piston will only receive power when I, the lever resets. Lever or button is reset. So once I reset this lever, that piston will receive power. So down, and same thing goes to a button or if you power it with a torch or anything. So if I just add a button here, see right when the button reset, our piston propped up. Some other things that I used include uh, redstone stuff, uh, like with uh, glowstone here. As you can see, even though this um, torch is on and it's able to go on top of this glowstone with the new features, uh, it is not powered on the other side because it acts as like a, a doid or, I think I'm saying that right, like a redstone repeater. Um, so, a quick example right here. Okay, so I can power this side, and our output here is off, right? But if I add a block right here, because it's able to go up, and then run it off to the side here, we can go through all the way to receive output right here, okay? Same thing with the repeater. But when I put the torch on the other side, it will go up, and uh, we don't receive power on the other side. Same thing with the repeater. Only difference is though, this is instant. Um, right when I place the torch, it will instantly go to this over here, okay? It will instantly power this piston. But, with the other, when you add with the redstone repeater, it takes one redstone tick. So, as a quick example to show you this, I'll place a redstone torch right here, and right when I do that, I uh, can't find my keys, right? but right when I do this, you can see this one propped up uh, faster. Now, one tick may not seem like a lot, but when you're working with uh, bigger projects, it, all the ticks start to add up, and it can be to a lot, and uh, using glowstone can also be a lot more uh, efficient, or a lot more uh, better of a choice instead of using a repeater and another part is because then it's an instant factor and when making a piston door like this uh, you want speed so yeah next thing um, is what I have here how was I able to power uh, the door from like a two wall or two high uh, button position like this well I'll show you right now so right here we have kind of the same setup right here okay the button would be right here, but I need a lever to show this example right here. But, uh, 
see right now this piston is not powered right but this is something you're going to need to learn if you really want to get into uh, redstone but if I power this right here we have active power right here okay and even though this piston is not powered we can still get it to be powered by just updating it like that so by placing a block next to it or any form of a block up, uh, update and uh, even though we have power right here, when I undo it, the piston still does not retract back in. You must update it again to retract back in. So basically what I did here is I have a torch under here to receive uh, power here. Then you can set up a T flip-flop to this. And then I have a small clock going here. Uh, torch right there. Redstone um, repeater and redstone down here, which will go into this powered rail. Uh, and this is our form of block update of our block update so right when I push the button uh, since this is updating the piston it will go down and it will power this redstone mine now though inside um, inside the the whole door thing though I'll show you exactly what I did here so I have redstone torch right here and a redstone repeater right here which will go into um, power this line right here and this is a T flip flop right here and then uh, once the T flip flop gets over that torch that's right here it will power uh, our input to the door which is right there in that green that green block and that will then open the door and then I have our little clock right here which is powering the powered rail right here so here to give you a better look there you can see that's um, when this piston went down, this is no longer receiving power, which will then toggle our T flip flop, and that's over the torch, which will then power our door, and then just clicking it again will get everything to reset. So that is the one wide, two by two, uh, flush door explained. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos and to subscribe. If you have any questions, make sure to put that in the comics set comment uh, section below and I'll try to do my best to answer them. Uh, post video suggestions for me so I can uh, keep making videos. Thanks for watching.